Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's really bad. Uh. Where's the ball? Hey everybody, welcome back to Pop's Toy Shop. I'm Tony, this is Hannah. <laughs> you were bracing for it this time, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we're back with another good video. Um, I've got a, uh, I've got kind of a mystery box. I've got another uh, culture fly box, and then we got another one of the boxes that has all the weird stuff for us to try. So, um, got Hannah with us today instead of Reagan. She wanted to be on camera to do the, um, the food box, but she's uh, Reagan sitting behind the camera, so we'll be ready to go. Um, first of all, I got the first box I've got. I kind of had to do a little backstory on this. I was on uh, on the internet, and uh, oh, well, I can't see you. <laughs> and uh, I came across a website, and it was called. Uh, let me put my glasses on so I make sure I get the the name right. And it is Electo's Corner. Now, it's a website I'd never heard of before. And I found uh, the Glow in the Dark Loki. Uh, they had a really good price on it. It's about basically half price for what it's normally going for. And so, I, of course, I immediately snagged it because I'm a reseller and I'm always looking for good deals. And uh, so I snagged it up and, and thought, great, I'm going to have another Loki that I can sell and make a, make a good little profit off of it. And uh, about a week later, I hadn't seen anything yet, so I messaged the company uh, through Facebook and said, hey, just kind of curious, you know, when I'm going to get this, because I was kind of looking forward to getting it. And uh, it, took a, it took another, uh, like a day, and they, they got back to me, because I think I talked to them on the weekend. I sent the message on the weekend. So they got back to me pretty quick on the, the next business day and, and said that, uh, it looked like it had, the payment had gone to their uh, personal PayPal, so they didn't see it. They didn't get the notification that it had been been ordered. And so I'm like, okay, not a problem. Uh, a day, I think a day later, they messaged me and said that um, that pop had, had been sold out. It had sold to somebody before me. Now, I have come across this on multiple times on different websites that you'll have something that's worth a bunch of money, and they're selling it at a lower cost. And so they'll cancel it and then they'll relist it later for a higher price. I'm not saying that's what this company did. I'm definitely not saying that at all. I asked them about it and they swear that this is just, it was just a mix up. They even showed me where the person before me had bought it. And so I, I believe them. I mean, I, I just know by my personal experience and I hope they didn't take it the wrong way that I was accusing them of anything. But I've had this happen too many times before. I've heard of way too many people it happening to. And your automatic thought is that's that's what happened. So um, they were extremely nice. Uh, they, they said they were extremely sorry about it. And so they refunded all my money and they sent me a mystery box to make up for it. So this was totally free, it did not cost me a dime shipping nothing like that so and i you know i told him i was going to open it on my uh youtube channel and i think they they took it the wrong way that i was threatening them that i was going to you know try to be you know say their company's horrible i'm not doing that no don't get me wrong you know i don't know i know i don't have a ton of viewers but i do have several people that watch my channel and uh i just want to say i am not saying anything bad against them but i told them i would open their box that they sent me on camera and we would see uh see what we got so um, here we go I got a little hit from the post office but it shouldn't be shouldn't be a big deal I'm gonna use my uh, if you go on Facebook or on Facebook on Amazon and you look for a cheap knife because I was gonna try to find some cheap knives just to have some different ones and you look at the picture and you're like oh that looks that looks kind of cool and it was really cheap it was like two bucks make sure you check the size because <laughs> I got this they said it was a uh, Arkansas toothpick or Missouri toothpick or something like that and it's a really really tiny knife so <laughs> it's kind of cute it's so small but when you cut open just be very careful you don't cut into the box hopefully it's sharp yeah just be careful don't cut the anything inside or yourself. I'm using it wrong. Yeah, he you might you want to use the sharp side. 
But anyway, like I, like I said, I, I'm not saying anything bad about this company. I don't know anything about them. Uh, they appear to be pretty new. I mean, I'm not positive if that's the case. I had never heard of them. Uh, their Facebook page just looks pretty new. So would you like some help? You're going to take the entire video just trying to open it's one box. stupid knife. It doesn't want to cut. It's probably because it's not very sharp here. <laughs> There we go. All right, you can open that. And let's see what we got. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's always a good thing. Card pack. We have Electo's uh, Corner Mystery Pack 10 card pack. And this was something that they said that was going to be free when I bought the Loki Pop. Um, I believe it's, uh, it could be 10 Pokemon cards. I'm, I don't remember exactly, but I think that's what it was. Um, I'm not a Pokemon yeah. collector, so I don't know hardly anything about them. They're all in, too. They're all in, they're all in separate protectors. That one's kind of stuck, but it's all right. Let's make sure it doesn't get on the card. There we go. All right, and we have, let me put my glasses on so I can actually see what we got here. Milo. We have Milo as a trainer card. We have Starly, which is a, it's pretty shiny. I'm a, usually the shiny ones seem to be worth more money. So I'll look these up and see if I can get some type of price to them, and I'll put them down, down below. We got Trap Inch, Inch Trap Inch. Got Grookey. And if anybody knows anything about these cards, just send me a message and let me know, because I'm not big on the Pokemon. Shinx. This says... Galarian Lanoon. And it has a it has a different type of protector for it. I guess I think that's the shining fates, I think. I'm not real sure. Weedle. Then we have a weedle. Do you know what these are? Sometimes. So we have a weedle. We have NK. We have Hatena. And we have Turf Field Stadium. So, pretty cool. I mean, I, I don't know a lot about these, but uh, we'll look it up and I'll, I'll put below if, you know, what kind of values they have on them. I've got something on my phone where I can scan them, but it doesn't always work, so I'm not going to try and do it on camera. So, that's pretty cool. Got some cards. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. This bubble wrap's always good. Two more cards. Oh, yeah, you can open those. And then... What do we got else in there? And we got heavy. Funko Pop. That's, that's pretty heavy. And... Oh, sweet. It's the He-Man Artist Series. From the Funko Shop Exclusive. That's pretty cool. Still wrapped up. Still mint condition. And everything. That's a really neat pop. I missed out on this one when it dropped on the Funko Shop. So that's really cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's, let's see if we can find some type of value on it. But the Pokemon cards. Can I name them off? Hold on. Let me scan this. We're, we're going to use the Hobby DB app uh, and see what we got. Let's see if it'll scan it through the plastic. Yep, there we go. And he is showing the He-Man Artist Series from January of 2021. Shows an estimated value of $45. So that's really nice. Thank you, guys. I, I appreciate that. And uh, you guys were top-notch on your communication. Your packaging is extremely good. I like the, the Pokemon cards and the pop that you sent. So if anybody uh, is looking for some good pops or you know, good customer service and everything like that, be sure to check out Electo's Corner. I'll put their... Uh, their uh, website down below so you guys can go over there and check them out so what other kind of cards did we get we have gothita paras marip where do they come up with these names the japanese oh, i guess that's true ride on indeedy indeed indeed.com no not a sponsor <laughs> uh, Rolly Coley, 
Zigzagoon. Turfield Stadium, another one. We have a Fairy Energy, I believe that's Fairy. She obviously knows more about these than I do. Pin so. Churchin, Corfish, Swab Blue, Silly Cobra. Silly Cobra. That's what it says. <laughs> Toxel. I'm going to start calling you that, you no, silly cobra. Stop. <laughs> Combuskin. Grimer. I believe this is a strength energy. Another turf field stadium. Hop. That one's got a Pokeball on it, though. He's like throwing a Pokeball. He's a supporter. Huh. And then Dunsparce. It's also shiny. All right. Well, that's really cool. So I don't know a lot about Pokemon cards, but we'll get them figured out. So, sweet. Thank you, guys. They come in little paper packs. Yep. It says Electo Corners Mystery Pack, 10 cards per pack. So, all right. All right, next. Um, I went over to Culture Fly, and they had some, uh, um, I don't know, really mystery boxes, more like collector boxes that they had uh, on clearance. So I picked up a couple of them since... My daughter is a big fan of My Hero Academia. I am too. Reagan is too. And uh, we decided, I decided to pick up a bunch of these. Um, we've got all of the Funko Pops except for the Master Chaco. I'm still trying to bring myself to spending that $400 for one single pop. So I'm going to have to do some really good sales at the flea market or something and hey, be able to do that. Hey, you get so. an Ochaco signed by the voice actor and sell it for a bunch. Probably not. Probably. So anyway... We have the My Hero Academia collector's, uh, collector's box. So I'll let Hannah open that. Would you like an eye? Okay. Make sure you speak loudly to the camera. Okay. Silly Cobra. Stop. <laughs> I ripped it. That's fine. We're not keeping the box. All right, what's inside? We have a wall tapestry. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's <laughs> cloth. Kind of like this. Yeah, we might want to use that for no, videos. It's too small. Oh, yeah, I guess it is too small. It's more like poster size. Smash! Carolina Smash. Carolina Smash. United States of Smash. What about Missouri Smash? There is one, actually. We have... And it has little grommets on there where you can hang it up. That's what those are called? Yes. And it's got strings all over it. So, anyway. Next. A Bakugo pen. Katsuki Bakugo. Katsuki Bakugo. Whatever. <laughs> Let me hold it a little closer. So there he is, this little figure. We have a Deku hat. Ooh, a Deku hat. Deku. 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 All right, come on. What? Do you not like me? <laughs> and what is that? 30% off. 30% off on your first order from Culture Fly. Considering I bought this from Culture Fly, how does this, could I get 30% off my first order? Okay. Anyway. Figurine. Oh, that's cool. Todoroki, my favorite character. My favorite character. So, huh. And there he is. He's got the eye saw on the one side. Isn't that on the wrong side, though? Isn't the red side his fire side? Yeah. Then why is it ice on this side? You keep it cool. Because this is his first uh, hero costume to where he didn't want to use his fire. So he covered it in ice. Ah, okay. So then the other question is, is why is his hand much bigger than his head? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, look how giant Nor Normus his hand is. Anyway, you got Todoroki. Well, is it your hand bigger than your face? I don't know. Is yours bigger than yours? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Most importantly, we can't forget the silica gel. Yep. Don't eat it. Why not? 
because it says do not eat right there. But what happens? Do if not eat. Too? It'll dry you up on the ins on the inside, and you'll die of thirst. Doubt that. And then the glass. We have a Ochako pint glass for you to drink your beverage. Juice. Juice. Your juice, your whatever type of beverage you decide to drink. <laughs> of course, all you're having is juice or so. Water. Water, milk. Can't have milk. <laughs> so anyway, all right, there it is. That's a pretty pretty neat little box, though. There's all the stuff Go from it. There you're gonna break it. I'm not gonna break it. It'll be fine. All right. Anyway, so what we have next is uh, I kind of put a stop on all my, my uh, snack subscriptions because it seems like I was getting too many of them and uh, I wanted to kind of space things out a little bit so I got one more before I canceled it I got a snack crate not sure what country this is from so we're going to open it up and see so has all the nutrition information on the bottom I hope so and we have Spain, Spain. España. No, Espanol is Spanish. España is Spain. Anyway, we have the cheat, cheat sheet. And we'll just go ahead and dump it. Everything is inside out. And of course, like always, it has a little thing on the inside that shows uh, information about the country, you know, little tidbits that you'd want to know and stuff like that. So, mangoes. all right. Ooh, I hate mangoes. It says spicy mangoes though. I know, spicy mangoes. So, all right. We got a whole bunch of strange looking stuff here. So, Something well, open. that one was open and I don't think we want to eat that one because it was open. I'm sure it's Wait, what is it? probably stale. Ruffles, jam on. Looks like bacon ruffles. A national favorite in Spain, these wavy potato chips feature the salty and savory flavor of the revered Spanish ham. And you spilled it all over the I didn't mean to. I said the the bag was open and who know who knows how long it's been open, so that's not something that we are going to try. Yeah, probably from those. So anyway, do you I pick what what are we gonna try first? Spicy mangoes. Spicy mangoes. No, I want you to read about it. Let me find it. Spicy mangoes. These mango flavored gummies combine just the right amount of fruity sweetness with a surprising kick of fiery heat. Ooh. I don't have a drink. Wham. Reagan, can you give me some water or something? I really don't like mango, but I will try one. Hmm. You should try it at least. It's a mango. It looks just like a piece of a mango. Oh, there's two. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I, I have a very strong feeling that I am not going to like this. Okay. So, but we'll try it. And then Reagan can try them. I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. Are you scared? Maybe. I don't like spicy stuff. All right. One, two, three. It is spicy. It is spicy. I don't taste any spice. Something to put my tongue. Oh, yeah, it's got a little burn to it. <laughs> what do you mean, little? That's actually not bad. It's got some heat. Uh, get, you, get you right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not bad. I'm not a big fan of mango, but. That was, that was not too bad. Everything burned. All right. We're going to do El Valle Huevo Frito. Egg flavored. It's got an egg on it. And huevos is eggs. These uniquely flavored savory chips have an uncanny resemblance to an actual fried egg. You might have just found a perfect breakfast substitute. Hmm. Chips for breakfast. Yeah. Does it smell like egg? That looks just like a fried egg. 
It smells just like a potato chip. I don't smell. It kind of smells like a potato chip. It tastes like a hard-boiled egg. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's really bad. Uh, Where's the bowl? I don't know. We lost our bowl. <laughs> it was here. Ugh. Take a potato chip and mash it into a hard-boiled egg and then eat it. Make it nasty. That was terrible. Mm -hmm. Ugh. All right, you're next. Uh, chocolate wafer time. Mievel or Mievel. The Mievel Turin, Turin Vienna. Vienna. Vienna? Yeah. Like Vienna sausages? I don't know. Layers of crunchy waffle sandwiched together with creamy nougat, then dipped in rich chocolate to make an unmistakable flavor. It smells like dark chocolate. It so. smells like dark chocolate. It smells good. It has an odd taste. That seems like it has coffee in it. I don't think that's coffee. I don't know what that is, but that does not taste good. Ugh. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's go with the big cookie. Dolcasol. Dolcasol Palmeras. A crunchy puff pastry topped with a delicious sweet sugar glaze. Try one with your cafe con leaf. Liche. 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 Milk. No, that's good. Seems like something you get at Starbucks. <laughs> Not bad. All right. You pick next. Just in bricks. Gummy bricks, looks like. What's it say on bottom? Um, chewy strawberry gummies coated in sour sugar and filled with a mild sweet cream throughout their brick shaped center. I like those. Those are good. I don't like strawberry stuff. Doesn't really taste like white strawberry. Kind of. Yeah, I'm good. Well, I like that. That's pretty good. All right. I would What's say the weird I thing? wouldn't buy the Let's try this. Stuff. Most of it is strawberry. Apparently, everybody likes Galleta it. Galleta con cereals. Galletas con cereals. Delicious biscuits made with crunchy cereal and bits of blueberries, semi coated in smooth white chocolate. Oh, that sounds really good. I don't like blueberries at all. Look like little sandwich cookies. I can never tolerate them. No. You get the mess on peanut butter, I'm not doing the blueberries. These are really, really good. <laughs> I don't like blueberries at all. Even artificially flavored blueberries. Those are really, stuff. really good. I like those a lot. That is a winner. Would you like one of those? What's your pick? Nice. Um, it says Ambrosia's Terma. Crispy, flaky wafers layered with cream and covered in a thick, luscious coating of white chocolate. Sounds pretty... Fancy. Well, melted. Yeah, it's a little melted. Why is it melted? I don't know, because it's hot in here. No, it's not. It's like 74. That's really good. I like that. You're fine. It's not hot in here. I like that. That's it's a really cinnamon taste, yeah. That is Let's do the. Kispazos. Snack de maize. It's some type of corn. I'm guessing they're going to be like corn nuts. Uh, how do you pronounce X? No, that was coconut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that coconut taste to it. I can't say that. 
That just makes like a Z. Zizbazos Electrico? Yeah, something like that. These little star-shaped crunchy corn snacks may be small, but they pack a spicy, cheesy flavoring that is shockingly delicious. Why is everything spicy? Those are really good. Is it like a spicy Cheeto? I don't... Kind of. I don't taste the spice to it, though. Definitely not like that first thing, the gum, the mangoes. I don't like the mangoes. But those are good. I like those. Oh, a little bite to the tongue now. Is it like slow burning? Yeah, but it's still really good. I like those a lot. Lemon or strawberry? No, you pick. It's your turn. This just looks like one of those, uh, like a fruit by the foot thing. It says Finny Roller Fizz. Finny Roller. With claims to the longest candy belt thrown, this fruity roll up will take your taste buds on a tart trip with its intense sour flavor. It is not longer than a fruit roll up. Fruit by the foot. No, it's not. That's not very long at all. <laughs> Maybe in Spain. That's good. It's just sour strawberry. I like strawberry. You're so weird. I don't like fruit. Nah. Okay. I'm good. Bocaditos. You remember what the bocaditos are? I'm still recovering from that. Limon. The limon. There's a song like that. We want limon. What? I'm serious. There was a song like that. Flavored cream. Eat them in one bite or split them apart. No matter how you do it, they are always delicious. Or you can eat them crushed. Because they're kind of smashed. Looks like that's what we're doing today. It looks like it's a just a cookie. lemon. It's just like a lemon flavored cookie. Between Ritz crackers. It actually kind of tastes like a Ritz cracker. Told ya. <laughs> it's a Ritz cracker. You got those candy snacks. I like that. That's good though. Picotas? Strawberry? These bright red candies feature a crunchy, sugary outwater layer with a soft, gummy center bursting with cherry flavor. Wouldn't that be outer layer? You said outwater. Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I, was gonna say, I don't know what you're talking about. Outwater. Yeah, it's just like just a little cherry candy. At least it's better than the demon cherry. Oh, it's, it's a chewy. That's really good. It tastes like something else. I don't remember. Cherry? No. <laughs> huh, not bad. Well, there you have it. That was the snack box for Spain. Of course, we kind of made a mess here. Oh, all my, all Mike's all covered, and Deku's got chips all over his face. But anyway, uh, had a pretty good, pretty good haul out of this, though. The really neat stuff from the Culture Fly. You got the pint glass and Todoroki and hat, which I'm sure Reagan will probably wear that. She likes hats. You just don't wear hats. Nope. I'm not a hat person either. I know some guys can't go at all without a hat, and I just don't like wearing them. Just never have. You have a hat collection, though. That's your mother's. But anyway, and then, of course, thank you to Electos, Electos Corner for the uh, He-Man Funko Pop and the Pokemon cards. I said, you guys are great. I appreciate what you sending that to me. There's nothing on your tree. <laughs> don't worry about it. So anyway, all right, well... We had a pretty good video here. Had a, we've had a pretty good day here in Ozark, Missouri. I hope you guys have had, a, had fun watching the video. We had fun making it. So There's a lot of sugar. Yeah, there's sugar everywhere. <laughs> so, but anyway, hope you guys like the video, and I hope you have a great day.